Childhood cancer is really one of the miracles of modern medicine. What was once a fatal disease now has turned into something where 80% of children can expect long-term cure. That progress is due solely to the research efforts of hospitals like SickKids and others around the world. And similarly, the only thing that's going to take us from 80% to 100% is further research. A lot of the research in childhood cancer to date has been run through clinical trials, which are really important. But how to take those results of clinical trials and make sure that they're implemented and reach children across this province, across the country, and across the world is really the realm of policy. So policy research and policy efforts take research results from clinical trials and make sure that they benefit all children. SickKids is active not just in the traditional research sphere, but in the policy, research, and advocacy sphere as well. We are engaged with Ministry of Health officials both here and across the country. As well, we've recently established the uh, Policy and Economics Research in Childhood Cancer Unit, or PERC for short. And what we focus on in PERC is health economics and health policy research across the world, specifically pertaining to childhood cancer in low- and middle-income countries. Although we're lucky enough to have 80% survival rates here in Canada, that's not true in large parts of the world. In places in Latin America, in Africa, in Asia, childhood cancer care rates are far less or even non-existent. At SickKids, we're doing a lot to try to change that. For example, we have the SickKids Caribbean initiative in which we're partnering with hospitals and pediatric oncologists across the English-speaking Caribbean to try and increase childhood cancer care rates there. Those efforts are incredibly worthwhile and effective. However, our overall goal is that those efforts and those programs become independent of any help that SickKids or other hospitals like SickKids provide. That takes government policy and government resources, and that doesn't happen without the appropriate health economics and health policy research. That's where PERC comes in.